Hello, this is George Senda, the real, official, authentic, one and only and original, the guy from Pittsburgh, except no substitutes or imposters. And I'm going to go and take these two suitcases downstairs and uh, dispose of them. This is for those who think I don't throw anything out. And I threw out the thing of recycling and the thing of garbage, and there was some recycling in it. And <coughs> later on, I'll finish up what's in the sink, and then tomorrow I'll continue to do what I can about straightening out up there. Can't do anything without paper towels, so I'm kind of stuck. So, um, and to the people who uh, leave rude comments about I'm still a hoarder, it doesn't matter to me because I just mark you as block and your comment disappears forever. Or if you leave a rude comment about something else, no one sees it but me. And your comment's gone, you can't comment on my channel again. So go watch somebody else's videos. And uh, Fluffy the cat, the fl smartest cat in Finland, wants to help uh, Cine out. They want to get me a uh, um, troll leather jacket with real troll skin and I said there's a lot of trolls out there I need an awfully big jacket but I'd be very happy to wear a uh, very very large troll skin jacket with fresh authentic internet trolls uh, hanging from it all right this is George send to the guy from Pittsburgh have a great evening stay wet warm dry or cool as the case may be and stay safe out there and here in Martinez the air looks like nuclear winter it's very smoky out there and it's rather hard to breathe so um, that's what's going on here it, it, it looks like dusk at high noon and even now before the Sun went down it still looked really dark and hazy so that's how much smoke is in the air. All right, I'm out of here to get rid of this. Have a great evening. Bye. Well, this is George Senda again. I forgot to mention something. I have some pictures of uh, dioramas made by an artist and typical hoarding. And <clears throat> while I used to have a lot of stuff in boxes a long time ago, I don't. And by the way, if anybody's wondering, the stuff up there is a box to mail off to somebody and another box to mail off to somebody. So that's not going to be there permanently. Hoarders don't throw things away. Hoarders don't clean. Hoarders don't organize. Now, I will admit my area around this computer table is cluttered because I haven't uh, gotten around to putting it away. I like to get one section done as much as I can and then I get tired. So um, eventually I'll have this apartment clean. It might take another 10 years <laughs> and I'm joking about that but it's going to be a lot more clean as I get money. And money is going to be to put uh, get drawer things and put the loose stuff like the decorations and more computer things and stuff away so that uh, things are not lying all over in piles. I really don't like it. And I'm gonna, th there's a dead television up there. There's a dead air cleaner, air purifier up there. I'm gonna throw out on top of the refrigerator and I'm gonna go through that. And uh, you know, the last thing I'll do is the hallway closet. And by the way, this is not a cockroach bite. Somebody made a rude comment about that. This is, um, I think it was either a pimple or a scratch or something, and I scratched at it. So, you know, these people make these nasty comments because they can and because they're idiots. All right, I'm done. But uh, the two suitcases will go out and... I'll keep you advised of cleaning progress as I get it done. And once all the laundry gets done, including this bedding, I bomb for fleas next month. And I put all laundry away. Then it will be an easy thing to get the bedroom cleaned up. I'm going to pay down 
money on getting a new vacuum and get rid of the junky one that doesn't work right. And so December 31st, if the guy's open, I'll have a new vacuum and I can vacuum my carpets. And, uh, you know, ideally, of course, I'd rather be out of here and into a bigger place, but that probably will never happen unless I get some way to make more money to get my land and all that. And I may yet do that one day. Who knows? All right. See you later. Bye-bye.